This is the EOS 1000 and it literally cost me 50p. I can't praise this camera enough. I love it. This has now become my new workhorse. Now I had a few rolls of Kodak left over from a photography project and over the course of the month I've been shooting quite a bit. Now if you've been following this channel you'll know that I'm a big fan of Scotland and normally whilst I'm in Scotland I take just epic wide landscape shots and in the past when I'm hiking I've got this guy loaded up with portrait. This is a Canon A1. It is a beautiful beautiful camera. It has such a great build about it. It's an absolute beast. But for this project, I wanted to find different things within the landscape that sort of jumped out with me. And whilst driving the North Coast 500, I started to see a lot of things that were effectively abandoned. So that was the subject matter for me, it was abandonment. And every time there was an opportunity to shoot that subject matter, I would stop the van, I would jump out and I would just snap away. Normally I'm just walking and just snapping, but I actually had to scope out and find different pieces of that subject matter that resonated with that topic. And there was lots of variation within this subject of abandonment, but I was finding all sorts. I was finding abandoned barns, different vehicles that were just left in fields to rot. I was finding like old shepherd's huts. I was finding old houses that had no one in. It made my sort of adventures way more varied and I really enjoyed that. Considering this camera was 50p, I had no idea if it was gonna have dust or any sort of artifacts within it. But the, the photos that came out were extremely clean and I'm very grateful for the guys at Jack's Lab because the bargain bin came through with the goods. And to be able to buy a camera on a donation basis, like that's amazing. Because ultimately it's given access for people who don't have a huge amount to get into photography. I've shot countless snaps on this camera now and it's overtaken my old A1 just because it's so easy to use and to be able to put my old EF mounted lenses on it just makes it so much more versatile for me to just have it in my backpack and just chuck anything that I want on. Now with these images, I've only edited the exposure and ever so slightly tweaked the white balance just to make them look a bit more natural to what was happening on the day. And there was a few that were out of focus. I think my hit rate was around 60%, which is, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. So, you know, here it is. If you haven't got a 35 mil camera and you're eager to experiment, I highly, highly recommend this camera. Um, they go for pretty cheap on eBay and being able to shoot on Kodak Gold is it's one of the cheapest film stocks out there. And I am so impressed with what images that, that film renders. I can't believe I haven't used it in the past and I, I think I'm going to be able to use it a lot more because I really, really love that sort of golden glow it has and especially with shooting in that autumnal light that I was being able to shoot in up in Scotland. I am so impressed with how the shots have come out. I'm really, really impressed. I think it's worth to note that as a photographer or hobbyist photographer, you don't need the best camera kit. You don't need the best film stock. And I think that is applicable to every part of filmmaking. My previous shot on iPhone video is a sort of hint to the fact that you don't need the best camera kit to be a good filmmaker. You just need to be able to find the story within that frame. Showcasing that subject in, in 10 different ways, in 10 different environments, in 10 different lighting styles, and, you know, and, and carving different emotions. Um, so yeah, it's, <laughs> photography is really, really fun. I've also been experimenting with cropped lenses on this full frame sensor and the results that I've been able to get have been epic. And it's something that I want to talk further about on this channel. If you're local to Bristol, make sure you go and check out Jack's Lab because their bargain bin will have some bangers in there and you never know what sort of camera you'll be able to pick up for a very cheap price. And if you've got some spare petty cash, well, there we go. Put that into a new hobby. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Catch you in a bit. Bye.